Uh, this is Eric Cassano with MachineBrain.com. We're at uh, the Robot Conference, and we're going to be talking to a gentleman whose name is Scott Wiley. And what's your company that you're with, Scott? AnyBots. Can you tell us about your uh, display here today and the products you're demonstrating? Okay, we currently have two robot prototypes. One is a walking robot, which has two legs, which is right behind Trevor, which is the founder here. And it's the, the unique thing about this robot is it's run by pneumatics as opposed to electric motors. And as far as I know, it's the only walking pneumatic robot in the world. And it's also, I believe, one, one of the only walking pneumatic robots in the U.S. The uh, other robot over here is uh, Monty. He's uh, on a wheeled base, which is similar to the Segway design, which is a design that we have. The difference is it can, it can bend over at its waist, it can bend sideways, and it also has a tail that um, allows the pneumatic um, air supply and the electrical uh, circuits, the um, electricity to come through its tail. It has a right hand, which is like a human hand. It has 18 degrees of freedom. Um, the right arm is, is quite similar to a human arm as well. And then the left hand is a gripper, which is uh, designed similar to a prosthetic hand. The, the difference being that it is, has a wider range of motion. The wrist has a um, I don't know, 180 degree range of motion. And then the left elbow has a greater range of motion than the right elbow. So, so the thought is that um, you can pick things up with the left gripper, which is much stronger than the right hand. Pick things up, and then you can manipulate it with the right hand, which is much more dexterous. Um, the, the wheeled base and the walking base of the two robots is autonomous. It essentially does it on its own. Um, however, the, the upper portion of Monty, um, the wheeled robot, is driven by an operator, which is behind the curtain over here. And so he's got a, a, a screen of, um, you can essentially look at, 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 at the, uh, the video that comes from the head. There's 15 cameras in the head, and so he, he, well, this is his airbag going off here. So if he falls over, there's, a, there's an airbag that will uh, protect him from damage. So there'll be, there'll be two airbags, one on each side of the head, as well as forward and back. So if he accidentally falls over, the airbag will catch him. Um, so anyway, so he's, he's operated uh, remotely. Um, so someone will put on a glove, and they'll have a controller in their left hand. And the controller will move the robot forward and back. Um, it'll allow him to turn, and it'll also run the left gripper. And then the right hand has a glove on it, and he can he can manipulate things with his right hand. So if you film that, you can see the operator in the background and the and the robot being operated by him. The the thought is that um, these robots can be run remotely, so you can actually drive it from an operator can drive it from one city and and actually use the robot in another city or even another county or across town or whatever. So. What are some of the um, anticipated applications for this particular type of walking robot? Um, is, is it being applied now or in the future? What are your um, your applications probably going to be? Well, we, we like to use the term uh, dirty, dull, and dangerous. So a job that's, that's too dirty for people, too dull, or too dangerous for, for people to um, work in, that's what we want to fulfill. Um, so, you know, toxic waste cleanup, um, just, you know, really tedious jobs that, that's really hard to, hard to hire people because they just don't want jobs like that. Um, jobs that, that uh, need to be driven remotely, um, helping, you know, elderly people in their home. Um, and then also, uh, there's also an entertainment aspect, um, since robots are kind of a new thing in the world that um, people are, are interested in that. So, you know, there may be a, a high-end bar that wants uh, um, robots serving drinks to people, for instance.